Hi, good morning, and uh, God bless everybody who might be joining this stream, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Instagram, whether you're on Facebook, wherever I may post this. But um, within the past two days, I've completed the book of uh, Proverbs in, in the Old Testament, in the Bible. I read the book of Proverbs, which is only like 31 chapters, and I also read 100 chapters in Psalms, in the book of Psalms. And um, Psalms has 150 chapters, I think, or 151 chapters. So after completing 100 chapters, reading to myself, I decided I wanted to read 20 chapters um, online. And so here we go. I'm going to read 20 chapters starting from chapter 100 because I already read 100 Psalms to myself. So if you're joining me, man, God bless you. And uh, here I'm going to say a little prayer before we start. Lord, I pray that you can give us all understanding and application to our lives of what we are reading through your Holy Spirit. Please cast out anything that is not of you, Lord. Bind anything that is um, trying to distract us from your word and help us to dissect and truly understand what you want us to take from this word today. In Jesus Christ's name, I thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, boom. Let's go to Psalms 100, baby. I'm going to try to get through 20 chapters real quick. All right, Psalms 100. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Psalms 101. I will sing of mercy and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praises. I will behave wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when you will come to me, I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. Verse 4. A perverse heart shall not depart. A perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know wickedness. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him I will destroy. The one who is a haughty look and a proud heart, him I will not endure. My eyes shall be on the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He who works deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who tells lies shall not continue in my presence. Early I will destroy all the works of the land, that I may cut off all the evildoers from the city of the Lord. Psalms 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day that I call. Answer me speedily, for my days are consumed like smoke. And my bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake and am like a sparrow alone on the housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long. Those who deride me Swear an oath against me, for I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and cast me away. My days are like a shadow that lengthens and I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever and the remembrance of your name to all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion. For the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. He shall regard the prayer of the destitute and shall not despise their prayer. This will be written for the generation to come. That a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. 
for he looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From heaven, the Lord viewed the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together in the kingdoms to serve the Lord, he weakened my strength in the way he shortened my days. I said, oh, my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations of old. You laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment, like a cloak. You will change them and they will be changed. But you are the same and your years will have no end. The children of your servants will continue and their descendants will be established before you. Psalms 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your inequities? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, gracious slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our inequities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, <clears throat> so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him, for he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. And his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you, his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you, his host, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Psalm 104, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. He lays the beams of his upper chambers in the waters, who makes the clouds his chariot, who walks on the wings of the wind who makes his angels spirits, his ministers a flame of fire. You who laid the foundations of the earth so that it should not be moved forever. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they fled. At the voice of your thunder, they hastened away. They went up over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place which you founded for them. You have set a boundary that they may not pass over, that they may not return to cover the earth. He sends the springs into the valleys. They flow among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. By them, the birds of the heavens have their home. They sing among the branches. He waters the hills from his upper chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetation for the service of man, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes glad the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread which strengthens man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he planted, where the birds make their nests. 
The stork has her home in the fir trees. The high hills are for the wild goats. The cliffs are a refuge for the rock of badgers. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness and it's night in which all the beasts of the forest creep out. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. The great and wide sea in which are innumerable teeming things, living things both small and great. There are ships that sail about. There is that Leviathan which you have made to play there. These all wait for you that you may give them their food in due season. What you give them, they gather in. You open your hand, they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit. They are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. He touches the hills and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. May sinners be consumed from the earth and the wicked be no more. Blessed be the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalms 105. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant which he made with Abraham and his oak to Isaac. And confirmed it to Jacob for a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give my land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. When they were few in number, indeed very few, and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes saying, do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provision of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They hurt his feet with fetters. He was laid in irons until the time that his word came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent him and released him. The ruler of the people let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. He increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people to deal craftily with his servants. He sent Moses, his servant, and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his word. He turned their waters into blood and killed their fish. Their land abounded with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and there were came swarms of flies and lice in all of their territory. He gave them hell for rain and flaming fire in their land. He struck their vines also and their fig trees and splintered the trees of their territory. He spoke 
And locusts came, young locusts without number, and ate up all the vegetation in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He also destroyed all the firstborn in their land, the first of all their strength. He also brought them out with silver and gold. And there was none feeble among his tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering and a fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quail and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock and water gushed out. It ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy promise and Abraham, his servant, he brought out his people with a joy, his chosen ones with gladness. He gave them the lands of the Gentiles and they inherited the labor of the nations that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise the Lord. Psalm 106. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who keep justice and he who does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with favor you have toward your people. O visit me with your salvation, that I may see the benefit of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. He saved them from the hand of him who hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then they believed his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tested God in the desert, and he gave them their requests. But sent leanness into their soul when they envied Moses in the camp and Aaron, the saint of the Lord, the earth opened up and swallowed Dathan or Dathan and covered the faction of Abiram. A fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the molded image. Thus they changed their glory into the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, awesome things by the Red Sea. Therefore, he said that he would destroy them. Had not Moses chosen one stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he destroy them. Then they despised the pleasant land. They did not believe his word, but complained in their tents and did not heed the voice of the Lord. Therefore, he raised his hand in an oath against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their descendants among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also to Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices made to the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their deeds, and the plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and intervened, and the plague was stopped, and that was accounted to him for righteousness to all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses on account of them, because they rebelled against his spirit, so that he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the people's concerning whom the Lord had commanded them. But they mingled with the Gentiles and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons and shed innocent blood. The blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan and the land was polluted with blood. 
Thus they were defiled by their own works and played the harlot by their own deeds. Therefore the wrath of the Lord was kindled against his people so that he abhorred his own inheritance and he gave them into the hand of the Gentiles and those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times he delivered them, but they rebelled in their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry and for their sake, he remembered his covenant and relented according to the multitude of his mercies. He also made them to be pitied by all those who carried them away captive. Save us, O Lord, our God, and gather us from among the Gentiles to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his for he is good for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons, because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their chains and pieces. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities were afflicted. Their soul abhorred all manner of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that man would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Those who go down to the sea in ships who do business on great waters, they see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves of the sea. They mount up to the heavens. They go down again to the depths. Their soul melts because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wits end. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm so that its waves are still. Then they are glad because they are quiet. So he guides them to their desired haven. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the assembly of the people. And praise him in the company of the elders. He turns rivers into wilderness and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of those who dwell in it. He turns a wilderness into pools of water and dry land into water springs. There he makes the hungry dwell that they may establish a city for a dwelling place and sow fields and plant vineyards that they may yield a fruitful harvest. He also blesses them and they multiply greatly and he does not let their cattle decrease. When they are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes 
and causes them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet he sets the poor on high far from affliction and makes their families like a flock. The righteous see it and rejoice and all iniquity stops its mouth. Whoever is wise will observe these things and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Psalm 108. I'm going to read two more chapters because this is going kind of long. Oh God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake, lute and harp. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing praises to you among the nations, for your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and hear me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem. And measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Galid is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is also the helmet for my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I will cast my shoe. Over Philistia I will triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O God, who cast us off? And you, O God, who did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. Through God we will do valiantly, for it is he who shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 109. I'm going to read to 110. Psalms 109. Do not keep silent, O God, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred. And fought against me without cause. In return for my love, they are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. Thus they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also from their desolate places. Let the creditor seize all that he has and let strangers plunder his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy to him, nor let there be any favor to his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be continually before the Lord that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and the needy man that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come to him as he did not delight in his blessing. So let it be far from him as he clothed himself with cursing as with his garment. So let it enter his body like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him like the garment which covers him and for a belt with which he girds himself continually. Let this be the Lord's reward to my accusers and to those who speak evil against my person. But you, O God, the Lord, deal with me. For your name's sake, because your mercy is good, deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like a shadow when it lengthens. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh is feeble from lack of fatness. I also have become a reproach to them. When they look at me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord.